y'all have been living under the idea that when you get with somebody and you spend a whole bunch of time with them and you know you show them that you love them and you be there for them through their ups and their down seasons, their mad seasons, their right seasons, their wrong seasons, that you are somehow guaranteed to get some sort of happily ever after in the begin in the end. And this goes for men and women. And I feel like the disconnect comes in where y'all don't understand. It don't matter how loyal you are to someone. It doesn't matter how much you love them. It don't matter how many years y'all got in. If the person don't see no value in you or they in a season in their life where the space they in is a survival mode or a season where it's like, I'm really just out to get what I want or move how I want to move. You never going to be able to make them love you back or value you back. Y'all be going around with this idea that because y'all knew Bob for seven years and you gave him your everything and your all and you had his kids and all this shit that somehow in the end that is going to make him love you and care. And that don't work like that. Life don't work like that. Relationships don't work like that. People don't work like that. This is why I had a problem with y'all the other day tagging me in that lady video to my oh y'all saying the same thing she's saying some real shit I'm never gonna tell nobody ever in my fucking life to go work on certain shit or make a list to manifest themselves into something to make somebody else show up in their life like no if you're gonna do work on you it need to be for you because everybody else is a wild card I would give a fuck how accomplished you is I don't give a damn how nice you is. I don't give a damn how pretty you is. I don't give a damn you got no mouths on your pussy. You can be a virgin and a nigga still dog your ass out if that's where they at in their season of their life. So all that shit y'all be trying to tag me in by, oh, go get, go make a live with Kevin. Or, oh, don't you think that uh, the one girl video that they that went viral, don't you think she's saying the same? Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. Because I know, bitch, you can be loyal, nice, a virgin, accomplished, rich, successful, poised, all that shit, and a nigga still give you a run for your fucking money. You picked the wrong one. Same for a female. You niggas know you can be a well accomplished. I ain't in the streets. I take care of myself. I ain't got no charges. I ain't got no nothing. And all the stuff that y'all think makes y'all better than the average. Like you people be done told y'all y'all supposed to have going on in life and get with a bitch and she will still cheat on your ass. Use you for all your money. City girl, you the fuck up for a Birkin and go leave with another nigga that ain't got shit. And these are facts. Y'all be with these niggas for 16, 17, 10, 5, 8 years. Nigga ain't showed you in years he value you or nothing you got going on or care about you. Even the kids for that matter. Y'all still be sticking around and fighting and pushing for a bitch to like see something in you they don't see. You can't make a bitch love you because based on how much you love them or because you loyal to them or because you, man, y'all better start learning to reciprocate energy. This is, this is part of the problem in y'all upbringing. Your mammy ain't teach you that neither. What it means to reciprocate. She taught y'all ass to hit back. If somebody hits you, you better hit their ass back. If somebody jump on your brother, all y'all ass better jump in. Don't bring your ass home if all if your brother get in a fight, all y'all better fight. Shit sounds great, right? Y'all be slow. Yeah, my mama told me you, we gonna all gonna knock your ass. Great. But what your mama told you when you keep giving somebody your care and your affection and your loyalty and they don't give you nothing back. What she told you about that? She ain't teach you about that, did she? You don't know, know nothing but to give a lick back. You give me a lick, I lick you back. Now, now, what the fuck happens after that? You don't know, do you? Don't got no clue. Bitch raised you all wrong. You know to hit a bitch back, but when a nigga busting your ass across the head every time you giving them your emotions and your care and your heart, you don't know what the fuck to do. This too real for some of y'all. Way too real. You can't break the cycle because you really believe that shit makes sense. I see y'all hoes arguing online all the time. It be a bitch... He, I've been with him for 12 years You's a 12 year dummy That's all the fuck you is Because in 12 years If a nigga only treated you well the first three Ho you stupid You are dumb But you know Y'all know what I tell people You stay and put up with as much as you want to For as long as you choose to The only thing I'm on here telling y'all Is at this point y'all got to understand You choosing to stay Don't make you no fucking victim And this is when y'all get upset at me because I be telling y'all, girl, you, you if you don't believe you dumb, you only are what you believe you are. 
it ain't what they call you, it's what they answer, what you answer to. So I can call you dumb. If you don't feel like you're dumb, child, you ain't dumb. If you want to stay with your man for as long as you want, y'all know I encourage that. Relationships are about understanding and not about right or wrong. The problem comes in, and the reason why I start calling you bitches dumb and yelling at your ass, niggas too, is because y'all want to stay, and then you want the other person to be some type of villain behind you choosing to stay. If you choose to stay and you only got treated good the first couple years and you choose to stay five, ten more getting treated bad in an effort to try to make somebody love you the way you loving them or see value in you and they been, nigga been knowing you for 12, 13 years. You ain't turned, he don't see you as valuable yet, bitch. Y'all done been through how many Christmases? You done had how many promotions at work? You done came across how many tax checks? You done did all this extra, you done lost how much weight and the nigga still ain't treating you right. Girl, it ain't gonna happen. So if you stay, just say I'm staying for me. I like the ride. It's fun. It's a roller coaster. We be up and down. I be doing my thing, nigga. What you want to do, whatever. But y'all know, y'all want to get on one-on-one -on -one phone calls with me. And let me tell you what the nigga did to me. Love, let me tell you how the bitch tried me. No, you tried yourself, bitch. And your mama tried you because all she taught you was to hit people back when they hit you. She ain't teach you what doing a bitch dragging your feelings. When it ain't no physical hit, she ain't tell you nothing like that because her ass ain't know what to do because your daddy drug her. Yeah, my alignment on my car is wonderful. I don't have to sit here and hold a steering wheel like a retard the whole time I'm driving. So I wish y'all would stop asking me who's driving. I am. It's not a Tesla. And it's an American-made car. The fuck? I really hope y'all embrace what I'm saying. I know